2018 CDL Air Brakes Endorsement Exam Questions and Answers. To check the brake slack on S cams, you should park on Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, you should check and fill the alcohol level every day during cold weather. True. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes linings are pressed against the brake drum. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the blank brakes. That would be, the correct answer is emergency brakes. Let's read the statement in its entirety. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and emergency brakes. Again, they are one, service, two, parking, and three, emergency brakes. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The one-way check valve. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power, and step on and off the brake pedal until low air pressure warning signal comes on. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. The S-cam forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have when you are applying the brakes. When the air pressure falls to the minimum pressure allowed in the system, the governor prevents more air from escaping the air tanks. False. The air compressor stops pumping air at how many PSI? 125 PSI. Let's just read the statement. The air brakes, pardon me, the air compressor stops pumping air at 125 PSI. Before driving a truck or bus with dual air brake system, the pressure in each brake system should be at least how many PSI? 100 PSI. Let's read that statement again. Before driving a truck or bus with a dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least 100 PSI. The brake pedal in the air brake system controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Why must air tanks be drained? The reason is to drain moisture and oil out of the tank. What is a dual air brake system? A two brake system. One operates the front brakes and one operates the back brakes. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every working day. What are the maximum leakage rates? 
less than 2 PSI in 1 minute for single vehicles and less than 3 PSI in 1 minute for combination vehicles. How can you check the slack adjusters? Park on level ground. Turn off parking brakes. Pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. If you must make an emergency stop, you should brake so that you can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time, your air pressure may drop too low during driving.